Hello everybody, this is Maximus with A1WebsitePro.com and today we're going to talk about transferring a website in WHM. This is a cPanel where you can have several different accounts and this is the easy way to do this. And you know, GoDaddy and all those other hosts can do it for you and it's so easy for them to do and I don't know why they don't do this but uh, this is the easy way to do it for you. Okay, so we're going to go to list accounts and I'm going to show you the account that I am going to transfer over. And it's this particular account here, A1 Sports Nutrition. Here I got the IP address, the username, and I know the password. Okay. Now on my new server here, what I want to do is I want to import it into this server, okay, and get it off this old one here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start typing in uh, transfer. Okay. Now do you see under transfer it says, it says copy an account from another server with an account password. You click on that. Now if you don't see that feature in your cPanel then uh, you know you don't have it. But this is the easy way to do it. And so what you want to do is you want to put the IP address in right there. So let's go back to this account right here. Now this is on a, a different server and what we're going to do is this A1 Sports Nutrition, we're going to grab this IP address, the 192.185.104.45. Okay, and then we're going to put that right there, just like that. The next thing we need is the username. So we're going to go here, we're going to copy this username, copy, and then put that there. And this next one's the password. Now if you need to change the password, you could just open this up and change the password and click change. But I know what the password is here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the password in. And uh, I don't have to give the account a new IP address because uh, this is not going to be on an SSL. You know, you, you need a, a dedicated IP address for you know, things that you're going to put a secure certificate in. But we're just going to import the files and the database and everything you know, into this uh, particular server. And so what we want to do is click copy account just like that. Okay, with that information, now it's going to pull everything from that server, okay, and everything's going to be the same. Usernames, passwords, databases, files, pictures, everything. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. There's only one more thing that you have to do after you transfer the account to the server, and that is change the name servers, okay. You'll notice the name server right now for A1 Sports Nutrition is pointing to this to this particular uh, host but we want it to point to this one. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. Okay, now you can see that everything's completed. It only took a few minutes, all right, because it's not a very big site. Now, if you have a larger site, this may take up to an hour or so. But usually, if you have a smaller site, it, it doesn't take that long. Now, what you want to do is uh, go here, type list accounts, make sure that the account is imported. And here we see A1 Sports Nutrition. It's the first one. Notice it has a username. Now it's a different IP address. Okay, now a word of caution here. You do you want to make sure that the username is unique whenever you go to import because if one of these other ones have the exact same username as this one, you're going to have errors and it's not going to transfer. So make sure in your WHM that this is going to be a unique name. Okay, let's, let's talk about changing the name service. Okay, so now you need to uh, change the name server for A1 Sports Nutrition because currently it's still pointing to the old server, but you want it to point to this new server. So what you do is just go up here and type in name server, or just type, type in and, uh, and look for the DNS function and the NS record report. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, you'll notice our servers here are NS1 Zoom Internet.net and NS2 Zoom Internet.net. So we're just going to copy those and we're going to log into where we, ha we have our name servers, okay? or where we have where we could change the name servers and this is particular account is a GoDaddy account. So here we see we have A1 Sports Nutrition here. All right, now what we want to do is just just click on it like that and see where see where it says name servers. We want to set the name server, okay? It's going to pop up with a little box like this. Now this is the old old server, but now we're going to do the new server. So we're going to click edit name servers just like this. And right here, we're going to put that ns1.zoominternet.net, and then we're going to put ns2.zoominternet.net. Now, what's going to happen here is whenever you click OK, it's going to do a check to make sure that these are valid. Just like that. And see how it's validated? OK. And then you just click Save, and that's it. You're all done. So you just you just transported a website, and you, you probably do it in under 10 minutes if it's a small website. So this is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this uh, tutorial helps somebody out. Thanks.